Hi and welcome to this video. Now to the current subscribers of my channel this is something a little bit different so if you're new to the channel and you're looking for information on this then welcome again. So yeah for the subscribers um, I would hope that over the last few, two or three videos uh, you've noticed a quite a better sound improvement. So in my last videos I was using my phone it's been all right but for some reason it's yeah, you know, I'm not getting the quality that I want. So I wanted something, you know, to improve my audio. So I bought myself a little microphone, which I'm using at the moment. Now this microphone is the video mic, uh, M-E-L from Rode. That's the box. I can't show you the actual mic because I'm using it at the moment, <clears throat> but that's a picture of it. I will put up a, a video um, of me holding it and showing it around just in a corner somewhere so you can see the actual mic. Now this mic is a plug and play. So no settings, no apps needed, no nothing like that. This one being the M-E-L, the L meaning it's a lightning jack. So plug straight into the lightning port on my Apple iPhone. Now, if you do have an Android or anything with a 3.5 mil jack, then you can just get the normal ME microphone, which works in a similar way. So I'm not sponsored by Rode or anything like that, not being paid. So this is just me recommending this microphone because I think it's really good quality for the price and you know if you're like me who wanted something you know if you wanted better audio then this is one to go for of course there's many others out there uh, too many to test them all but uh, I did go by reviews and this one came quite highly recommended I did look at different microphones and there's different uh, lapel mics you know lab mics but with the content that I'm doing on my channel uh, I didn't want the wire you know dangling from phone to you know, where you wear it uh, which this is okay um, obviously for this type of video if I was sat down doing this type of thing all the time so if you are looking for this microphone it does depend on what content you are recording hence if you already sat down and you know don't mind a cable dangling or you know I say if you are outside blogging walking around that type of thing I probably would recommend this type of microphone Obviously, there are the more expensive ones, uh, which are lapel mics, which are Bluetooth and that type of thing. But for this video, I say the reason why I got this mic is it was quite cheap, hence around you know 40, 50 pound second hand, uh, if you can find one on eBay or you know Facebook sites like that. Now this mic is a shotgun type microphone, hence that wherever you point it, like at the moment it's plugged in facing towards me, it's going to pick up the sound, you know that it's pointed at. Unlike a mobile phone where it picks up, I think it's omnidirectional, where if someone is, say, walking behind you or making a noise behind you, it's going to pick that up as well. Where this mic, if it's pointed at you, it will 80%, you know, more likely get you and cancel that noise out. Another thing about this microphone, it has a, an audio port on the back, so if you want to, you know, wear a pair of headphones and li listen sorry, to the actual audio, than you can do. It's quite a basic microphone. It's good for, I say, anyone that wants a little bit better quality audio than their phone uh, and doesn't want to mess around with any EQ settings or anything like that. So I've used this microphone in a few different locations outside, um, you know, inside as I am at the moment. And I must say for the price, it has improved my audio quite a great deal. Now the people that would use this type of mic are maybe TikTokers, um, you know, that just want to, you know, point your phone and shoot and you know, that type of thing but you can use it for other things as well uh, recording audio going to gigs um, it will handle loud noises quite well hence uh, on my video or last video I did a recording of a car engine now when I did this previously with my mobile phone uh, all I got was a lot of digital distortion which doesn't sound too clever at all now because I had this on uh, and also the dead cat or gerbil or whatever you want to call it um, it does cancel wind outside quite well uh, although it is quite big which I will get on to that in a second with the downsides of this microphone now one or two of the issues with this microphone now the first one is that because it goes into the lightning port of your phone that I know of anyway there's no way to charge your phone at the same time so if your battery doesn't last that long then you won't be able to have this on for you know an hour, two hours, unless your battery can cope, especially if you're recording in 4K. So you may be able to charge your phone through the audio port on the back, I don't know, 
Uh, but if you can, it's again another cable you've got to buy, which adds to the price. So that's probably the biggest thing for me while using this microphone. Now another thing is this dead cat. Now it does say it does an excellent job of stopping wind noise. Now the only downside is that if you're recording inside, you know, inside the house like I am at the moment, you don't need this on. You know, it's not going to pick up any interfering wind noise or anything like that. Now if you're outside, obviously you would have this on. Because you can point the microphone, you know, either way, whether you're doing it on a selfie cam or you know, shooting landscape way out. Um, if you're shooting somebody else, it's fine. You know, it's not going to cause an issue. But if you're if you are recording yourself and you do have this on, uh, it does obstruct the home button quite a bit. Uh, much so that it's pretty much impossible to you know get your hand around to you know touch the touch the button. Uh, I found that you've kind of got to use the buttons on the side to stop start it and that type of thing. It gets a bit awkward, and this doesn't really you know pop off that easy. Uh, it's got quite a good seal on it, so it's not going to fall off. Um, but yeah, that's another thing which I found a bit annoying. So yeah, I say uh, you can use this microphone for pretty much anything. So what I forgot to mention as well, which it won't affect a lot of people, um, you know, that just want better sound. But if you are into your audio, this microphone is a mono microphone, which means that you're only going to have one channel uh, if you were to extract the audio. Uh, unlike your phone, which would do it in stereo, but again, you know, it depends what you're after with audio. So yeah, you can use this for many things, um, say me talking, that's the best thing. Uh, you can also use it for music. I'll do it with a microphone and without, just so you can see a difference. But yeah, there is a noticeable difference in the sound quality. Um, it's more clearer, you know, it's, it's less setback if that makes sense. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I don't want to make this video too long. So this video has been some use. I hope it's given you some idea about this microphone if you're looking at this particular one. I say for the price, it's pretty good. It does have some negatives, I say, but all in all, uh, it's made my videos a lot better. Um, so I have really no goals really, apart from the charging thing. I say there's others out there, it depends what you need, have a think what you need it for and yeah, I hope it's give you a better insight. So I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, you know, whether you like the video or not, uh, let me know how I'm doing, uh, leave any comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. And without the microphone. <laughs>